How and when did the universe start? Astronomers are scientists who study the universe. Many of them believe that the universe began about 15 billion years ago. Before the Big Bang, the universe was the size of a pinhead. The universe was made from completely different materials than it is today. Then it expanded so rapidly that it was like an explosion. There was a great flash of light and intense heat of billions and billions degrees Celsius. After the Big Bang, the universe continued to spread out and cool slowly. The parts of the universe became clearer. As the universe kept spreading out, gases came together to form huge clouds known as protogalaxies. The protogalaxies eventually gave birth to stars. Stars, gas and dust came together to form groups called galaxies. Galaxies can contain billions of stars. Today the universe is made up of billions of galaxies. Make your own universe by looking up the craft idea Solar System Mobile on www.mokumi.com What are comets? Comets are small celestial bodies. Scientists cannot seem to agree on whether comets are dirty snowballs or snowy dirt balls because of the mixture of ice, gas and dust that they comprise of. They are different from asteroids because they are huge balls of ice and gas. Comets are said to originate from the Oort cloud a group of icy bodies in the outer solar system. They have remained largely unchanged since they formed, which is why scientists are very fascinated with them and the ancient material they carry. Comet sightings have been recorded since ancient times. They would appear from nowhere and disappear just as mysteriously in addition to their distinct shape and tail. In ancient cultures, comet sightings were considered bad omens such as the death of nobility, famine or attacks from the heavenly realm. Parts of a Comet The solid ball of the comet is known as the nucleus or core. It mostly consists of ice, dust and dark organic matter. 
The ice is mostly frozen water but can also be methane, ammonia or carbon dioxide. When a comet nears the sun, the frozen parts of the comet begin to turn to gas. The gas forms a cloud around the nucleus that is known as a coma. Often this cloud is filled with hydrogen and is then referred to as the hydrogen cloud. Radiation from the sun also charges the dust particles of the comet causing it to scatter over 10 million kilometers. The dust tail is the most prominent part of the comet and can be seen to the naked eye. Comets can take anywhere from several decades to a few hundred years to complete one orbit around the sun. When it is closest to the sun, it is known as the perihelion and the opposite is called the aphelion. Since the Earth is relatively close to the Sun, we see it during its perihelion. Many comets have been sighted and recorded throughout history. No matter what the direction of the comet, its tail will always point away from the Sun. Can you find out what makes this happen? What are asteroids? Asteroids are celestial bodies that orbit around the Sun. The word asteroid means star-like and is derived from the Greek word astor meaning star and oid meaning shape. They are believed to be remnants of the humongous cloud of dust and gases that formed the Sun and planets over 4 billion years ago. Most of them lie in a single belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Sometimes changes in gravitational flows and other forces in space cause them to get dislodged from their orbit and move away from the main belt. It is believed that a giant asteroid crashed into the Earth millions of years ago causing such extreme changes in weather and the extinction of dinosaurs. Scientists believe that the asteroid belt in our solar system could have formed in one of two ways. 1. There existed a planet between Mars and Jupiter that broke up into the belt due to a collision with another celestial body. Or 2. The rock material in the asteroid belt was unable to fuse into a planet like the others due to Jupiter's tremendous gravitational force. Asteroids can be anywhere from a few feet to a several kilometers in diameter. The largest asteroid in the belt is known as Ceres. It is 950 kilometers wide, so large that it actually has its own classification called the dwarf planet. Can you find out the reason why Pluto was demoted from the status of planet to a dwarf planet like Ceres? What is the main difference between a planet and an asteroid? What are shooting stars? Look up at the night sky. Once in a while, you will see a streak of light in the sky. These streaks are called shooting stars. But did you know these shooting stars are not really stars? They are small dust particles floating around in space. When the dust particles come close to Earth, some of them get pulled towards the Earth. The dust particles enter the Earth's atmosphere at very high speeds. Speeds so high that the friction with the air heats up the dust particle. The dust particle starts glowing brightly. It finally burns out before reaching the ground. And that is what we see as shooting stars. Understanding the Earth's Structure The Earth's structure consists of three parts. The crust, the mantle and the core. The structure is similar to that of an egg. Its crust is like the shell, its mantle is like the egg white, and the core is like the yolk. The crust is found beneath mountain ranges and oceans. 
Its thickness ranges from 40 kilometers under mountains and only 8 kilometers under oceans. Part of the Earth's mantle is made up of rocks so hot that it is liquid or molten. The mantle is measured at 2,900 kilometers of thickness. This molten rock seeps through cracks in the crust and pours out of volcanoes in the form of lava. When the lava cools down, it turns to rocks and stones. The Earth's core is mostly made up of iron. The core is divided into two parts, the inner core and the outer core. Scientists strongly feel that the inner core is solid while the outer core is in a liquid state. An estimate of the core's temperature ranges from 4000 to 6000 degrees Celsius. Scientists understand the composition of the Earth better by studying seismic waves. Seismic waves are vibrations that spread out from the epicenter of earthquakes. Project What kind of rocks are found in the mantle? The oceanic crust is made up of two primary metals. Name them. Apart from using seismic waves to identify the structure of the Earth, what other techniques are used to do the same?